Hi everyone, Dakota here. Kate and I want to tell you about the weird creatures of 2008. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the colossal squid. And man, that sucker is huge. What? Nothing, I've just never heard you use the word sucker before. Whatever, just continue telling about the squid. Okay, well, originally, no one has actually ever seen a colossal squid. But scientists knew that they existed because they found really large tentacles and beaks inside the bellies of sperm whales. And then last year, a New Zealand fishing boat actually caught a colossal squid. See, this is what I don't like. Why did they have to kill it? I mean, why couldn't they just take a picture for proof and let it go? Well, I, I guess it just got snagged on a line or something and... It wouldn't let go, so they decided to catch it. Humans are so stupid. I mean, they have this amazing creature, and then they have to go messing around with it and kill it. I know. So anyway, the squid weighed over a thousand pounds. Which is half a ton. And it was 33 feet long. Now, that was a female. Males are supposed to grow twice as big. So, after it was dissected and examined by scientists, starting mid-December 2008, it's on exhibit in New Zealand. So now you can see hobbits and giant squid in New Zealand. Colossal. Same thing. No, there's literally a big difference. Okay, fine. Colossal squid. Now moving along in our list of weird creatures of 2008. Our next creature of 2008 is actually one that I discovered. Well, not really discovered. You just found out about it. A lot of people already knew they existed. Whatever. Stop correcting me. Sorry. So anyway, I was visiting this friend in Greenwich, Connecticut, and we were walking along the beach, and I saw what I thought was a dinosaur or something. It turned out to be a horseshoe crab. Well, I didn't know. I thought it looked like one of those trilobites that you see in the books about dinosaurs or ancient sea creatures. So when I brought the photo back and showed Dakota, she pointed out that I was wrong, as she likes to do. I don't like to. I just... Okay, next we have the Montauk Monster, which is a creature that washed ashore on a beach in Montauk, New York. Montauk's where Joel goes to play hooky from work, and he meets Clem in the beginning of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Which is an awesome movie, of course. Yep, one of my favorites. Anyway, pictures of the Montauk Monster were all over the internet. Yeah, it's a really weird, creepy-looking, rare creature. Well, it, it may not be all that rare, even though at first it looks like a creature we've never seen before. After carefully examining the picture and the creature's bone structure, it's most likely either a raccoon or a dog. It just looks the way it does from being decomposed in the water. And lastly, we have our favorite creature here at Cute Girl and Puppy Paranormal Investigation, the Chupacabra. We don't really have anything to say about the Chupacabra. We just wanted to bring it up. So those are our weird creatures of 2008. The colossal squid, the horseshoe crab, that I thought was a trilobite, but it wasn't. The Montauk monster and the chupacabra. Thanks for watching and have a happy new year. Bye!